What is up guys? We're in the 2022 Cadillac XT6 and in this video we're going to do a true full test of Cadillac's Super Cruise technology, full self-driving. We're going to be going on the craziest and the worst congested highways in Toronto, the QEW, all the way down there through the Gardner Expressway. So Super Cruise is going to take us right from this on-ramp onto the highway all the way to downtown Toronto completely hands-free. And this is again, the only technology where it's truly a hands-free technology. The Super Cruise sensors right here, the eye tracking modules right here. It's gonna drive for us completely. Do everything from steering, lane changes, slowing down, accelerating, all of it. We're gonna go there. So let's go ahead, give it a test. If you've seen in a previous video, I did this test on the Cadillac Escalade with Super Cruise. We went ahead, again, through the highway scenarios, a lot of congested traffic, worked really well. So let's go ahead, turn it on, and see how it does. So with Super Cruise, all I need to do is there's a Super Cruise button right here on the steering wheel. All I'm gonna do is turn that on. Awesome, it's already set up. It's now engaged. I get to see that it's engaged with this big, green light in front of me. There are sensors that you're gonna see in the video right over here that I actually don't see. I've done this video previously. I know that there's gonna be blinking. Your eyes don't see that. And this is just basically monitoring your eyes, making sure that you're focused on the road and it's gonna be completely driving itself. So I've set the total cruise to 102. I can go ahead and increase that. Let's say I wanna make my maximum cruising speed 120 kilometers an hour. And now it's gonna pick up, it detects the car in front of me. I can also set up how many car lengths away do I want the other car. So I can click this button here and this is the gap adjust. Do I want two car lengths? Do I want one? You can see it's accelerating now because I just said I want one, but I actually want two. I like two, I think two is the most reasonable gap. It gives you a good amount of distance um, in case, again, you don't want to fully ever trust this technology. I am not condoning people sleep while Super Cruise is, you know, on the highway for them. That's not what I'm doing in this video. But what I do want to do is show you actually how good it is handling everything by itself. I'm not touching anything. This person in the RDX came into this lane. Super Cruise kind of felt like what's going on. It started braking. Super Cruise is again completely braking here. I am not touching anything. It's doing this all on its own. Look at this, gradual braking from about 120 kilometers an hour. And now we're again in this kind of weird part of traffic. It looks like based on CarPlay, nine minute accidents occurred, but you can see it's handling all of this the exact same way it would handle, like I would handle it, right? In terms of like how it progressed in terms of the slowdown. So I'm very impressed with that. And just now here's another test, like how fast is it gonna pick back up? And so it's, it's doing well, it's keeping that gap. And it's doing it smoothly, and that's the other thing. So again, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm doing a full review of this XT6. Um, thank you for Cadillac for lending this over to me again. And again, testing Super Cruise, which I think is the best self-driving technology. You know, I've used the Tesla autopilot system, you've used the Lexus, used the Hyundai, used all of them. And to be honest with you, none of them come close to Super Cruise because it's truly hands-free. I don't need to, you know, rub the steering wheel, give it a nice like shake down every once in a while. I know people put on defeat devices for some of those vehicles. This, I'm just truly hands-free if I want to tickle my knees, if, you know, whatever I want to do with my hands. And again, it's not like 100% my eyes need to be on the road. They should be, right? But, you know, I may need to grab what's in here or I may need to open my cup holder right? I may need to do these small things, maybe check over what's to my left or what's to my right. And it's still going to go. So you can see from a stop, it's accelerating quite quickly. It's accelerating how I would accelerate. So it's doing a great job of kind of interacting and adjusting to the traffic conditions and doing so naturally, which is good. And doing so in a way that it gives you confidence in the system that it's actually understanding and seeing what you're seeing. And I think that's a big thing. And I haven't even talked about how, you know, in the lane it stays, it's rock steady. And that's the other thing about this tech is that, like, it is just rock solid. Look at it, it's just, it's just rock solid. It would do better than I would do every once in a while. I'd probably get tired, you know, not 100% focused on staying right in between the lanes, but you know with technology, it will. Now, I'm not saying it's gonna do that 100% of the time. 
this you know tech could make a mistake etc you always have to be paying attention but this really does for I think daily drivers and now it's beeping so even though I'm looking straight it's beeping probably because I have a GoPro on my head or another thing you notice construction it also because it's mapped out certain highways and there are some sections of the highway that it doesn't actually have it mapped anymore due to construction and so i know we're going into construction here and it's actually even though super cruise is not engaged the adaptive cruise control system is engaged and it's still going ahead and doing that for me which is nice but this tech is actually really powerful because it's mapped over 400,000 kilometers of highways across the usa and in Canada and so all the major highways by the way in Ontario where I am in Canada they're all mapped right besides these small little sections um, on the QEW that have some traffic going on those are blocked from being mapped because of the changes right it needs to make sure that it knows exactly where it is um, on the highway so that it can provide that kind of the hands-free driving and really like honestly just reducing the amount of stress that anybody's feeling for those that are daily driving commuting back and forth on the highway which is honestly really really good and that's what i tell people all the time if you're looking for a commuter and you're commuting on the highway you should be getting super cruise technology so let's see if it engages we'll try it again here and it has engaged so now this is part of the highway that's familiar with um, and it's fully engaged and we see that again with the green light and again i haven't done nothing I haven't touched anything like I can go ahead play around with my a track controls and I'm just doing this again just to showcase the fact that it's no it's not like you have to have your eyes completely glued on the road but it is gonna notice and I will show you when it will say enough is enough Sandra and like you need to start looking at the road and I'll show you what that looks like so you know for example we're in this situation if I start looking to the left you guys can see with me I'm kind of looking to my left I, by the way, can still see you through my peripherals. I have one eye out here. See the system now is like, wait, better start looking in front or I'm gonna disable. And it's disabled. So now it says take control. Another cool thing about the XC6, not only does it give you this visual indicator, but also my bum seat, the, the chair or the seat actually uh, vibrates. It vibrates your butt. So it just kind of gives you like, hey, take control, make sure you are looking at the road um, and then we can go ahead and re-engage it. And now, if you do this too often in the same period of driving, it will say no longer, you're not allowed to use Super Cruise. You have to turn the car off and then turn it back on. But you can see again, we're now back engaged. And this is, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. People signaling, I don't know what they're doing. Traffic here on the right's much slower. Traffic is picking up now a little bit in the left lane. Oh, let's see what happens here. Slowed down. Now is it gonna pick back up? It is gonna pick back up. And that was a little bit of a silly move by this person. I didn't appreciate that move. I don't think the XT6 appreciated that move either. And you can see, like in terms of lane steadiness, it's just rock solid. Some other systems you guys know in previous videos, I felt like they bounced too much left and right in the lane, didn't like that. And now again, Super Cruise is beeping at me. And I think some of this, by the way, just FYI, is because of what I'm wearing on my head. So you probably can't see that right now. But if I show you my wonderful good lookingness, you can see there's a huge GoPro strap and it kind of covers my eyes. And so I think Super Cruise might be struggling with that a bit. But I'm gonna go back here and back into Super Cruise or back into the driving position. And I think it is a little bit struggling with my GoPro. It's kind of like, are those your eyes? What's going on? You might have a third eye. That's probably better, Super Cruise. I'd want that third eye. But take a look. Now we're getting back up to kind of highway speed. Hitting 100 kilometers an hour. Traffic's picking up. But I, I know this highway. There's going to be more congestion up ahead and let's see how it adapts. Yes, we are in good conditions, by the way. It's sunny outside. Everything's visible. So these are probably the best conditions that you could have this working on. Again, it, it does need to see the lanes, but it is mapped again. It is completely mapped. It's not just visual. All of this is mapped through Super Cruise, 400,000 kilometers of roads. And that is acting as the backbone of the tech. And again, I think 
the biggest thing is just confidence, right? When I'm looking at what's happening out there, I get the sense that Super Cruise actually is kind of assessing the situation the same way I am. Now we're getting some traffic, let's see. Okay, it's breaking, I feel it breaking right now. I feel it breaking, I want it to break more, it's breaking 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 more. Okay. And see, I'm, I'm being dead serious when I say this, it's probably did 95% of what I would have done. I probably would have braked just a, maybe two seconds earlier than the Super Cruise did, but also because I have the gap adjust set to two. So if I wanted to be very conservative and safe, set that to three, then you'd be fine, right? But I set it to two. And so I, I think that's actually fine. Again, if you want it to be way more safer in how you feel, set it to three, absolutely do that. And this is the other great thing, right? Even at a full stop, it's just gonna go pick up for you. So it's, it's truly hands-free, right? Like going to my cup holder here again, you know, play around some stuff, look outside, roll down the window. Clean that window for you guys so you can see out of there better. It is cold in Toronto. It is freezing. And this is great. Honestly, the biggest thing about this tech is just makes driving way less stressful. Look, I love driving, okay? You guys know on this channel, I drive tons of cars. I love driving. I hate driving in rush hour traffic. Nobody likes driving in rush hour traffic. It's stressful. So the fact that this technology can just make your commute, your drive, all of that way less stressful, that's worth every dollar to me, right? And so this XT6 in particular, fully loaded, Super Cruise is an additional option, comes up to 76,000 Canadian dollars. I think it's well worth the money if you're looking for this vehicle. And if you're looking for something that's gonna make your commute way, way easier. Do you have any questions? Leave them down in the comment box down below. I'd love to hear it. I could answer all your questions all day because I'm not really driving. <laughs> I'm just kind of watching what's happening. Um, leave them down in the comment box down below. Make sure you subscribe. A lot more videos to come on Cadillacs, the Super Cruise tech. It's only gonna get better. They have, there's rumblings around what's Ultra Cruise gonna be from GM. And so that's gonna be like the next level of Super Cruise. And you can sure bet that as soon as that comes out, I'm gonna have my hands on it to test it out and show you guys what that's all about. But make sure again, you guys like this video. It helps with the algorithms. And I'll catch you guys, you know, in the next video. Whenever I head to Toronto, I'm just gonna be watching. This is pretty cool.